Yo! Hi everyone, uh, this is AB. I'm here today in uh, Banbury, uh, exactly at Banbury Cross. Uh, I'm sure a lot of you heard of the nursery rhyme, uh, Ride the Cook Horse to Banbury Cross. Uh, well, that's the cross, uh, that's the, the horse and uh, the fine lady. Anyway, I'm not here to talk about that. Uh, I'm here to talk about the police harassment that I am receiving and I have received uh, from the uh, Thames Valley Police. So audit in Britain, yeah. Uh, exactly what it says on the tin. I just go around, record public property from public land. Uh, it's just asking my rights, uh, then uh, expressing my opinion on my channel. Uh, it's as simple as that. Uh, I teach the public uh, their human rights. I try and fix the, the disconnect between uh, public employees and the public, if I can. And I expose uh, the ones that infringe on uh, people's rights. Uh, that's all I do. Uh, but I have the right to do it, <clears throat> so why not? Uh, nevertheless, I did receive har the harassment started sorry, on the, on the 26th of 2020 by uh, an officer called uh, PC Paul. I didn't know his name uh, then, but do remember him, uh, do remember this name. It's gonna keep coming back uh, in this video. Uh, so it all started by uh, these, uh, these uh, cards that he's been sending to a colleague of mine, uh, that eventually uh, a colleague of mine uh, phoned him and uh, he was telling him it's to do with a, a letter they received about somebody's welfare. Not sure, not sure whose welfare. It sounded like he was over my welfare at the time, but I still don't know till today. For all I know, I think they created the, this story. Then uh, these two came along. Uh, that was during lockdown. Uh, at the Upper Hayford video, you can scroll down through my videos. Uh, you can you can watch it if you didn't watch it yet. Uh, so what these two done was quite evil, really. Uh, they've uh, they created a fine, uh, a COVID fine, which they didn't issue me. Then, or oh, they didn't send send me one home as well. Uh, then they informed a third party about it, which created a lot of problems to my work. Then they've cancelled the fine. Listen to this. They've cancelled the fine. So I never received it anyway. And that was it. And uh, basically trying to intimidate my job. In my job, I cannot basically have a, a record, like a criminal record or anything like that. So, yeah. So that's what they tried to do. And that caused me so a lot of problems at, at my work. And... Uh, I can't. I can't really say a lot about it. Uh, I've got solicitors to to chase them up on that one, as well. So and I cannot explain all the details on this one. But yes, this these two have caused me a lot of harassment, a lot of in intimidation, and uh, yeah. Okay, so if you know who I am, it's still not essential, um, but it's work. It's I think we're allowed to work. Are we not allowed to work? Not at the moment. There are restrictions in place where if you're not essential work, you're not allowed to work. We can go out for work. Okay. I'm just, I'm just saying, are we not? That's fine. Yeah. Just expect a ticket in the post then for not being, not performing to the restrictions at the moment. So we'll send you a ticket in the post for breaking the COVID, and then you can start with that report to whether your employment was allowed to be out. In the post? Yeah. Okay. So you know I'm working, yeah? I, I appreciate that what you're saying is that you're working. Okay. What I'm telling you is that your description of what you do for a living doesn't clash you as an essential worker. Ah, uh, then comes the mysterious light bulb that fixed itself by the time I got home. <clears throat> yeah, that wasn't just the only stop. I got stopped uh, a couple of times, which uh, I haven't recorded, but I've recorded this one. Window it down more. It's all right, feel it safe this way. What? I'd rather keep it this you way. I think you've been driving a bit quick. No, 30 miles an hour. You haven't been driving 30 miles an hour, and you've got a brake light out as well. Have I? I, yeah, I changed so that. Are you going to get it fixed? Yeah, yeah, sure, I'll change that. Yeah. I just said that. Okay. 
Okay, if I see this again, I'll give you a ticket, alright? Say that again? If I see this again, I'll give you a ticket, alright? Which brake is it? The back left. The back left, yeah? Yeah. Okay, well, I'll get it checked. And a few months after that, uh, yeah, uh, Mr. PC Paul strikes again, PC7550. Yeah, uh, Saturday night, 8.20, he decides to knock on the same guy's, uh, my colleague's uh, door again. Uh, I'm not sure if it was his sister or, or his wife, he, you know, that opened the door. Again, he wants to speak to him about me. So obviously his family was were all alarmed and distressed. They contacted him. So he gives him a call and that's the conversation. Uh, my name. You came to my house looking for me? Yeah, yeah, sorry, what's your name? Uh, how are you doing? You right? Yeah, fine, thank you. You? Yeah, yeah fine, thank you. PC James Paul here. Sorry? Um, PC James Paul. PC James Paul, yes. Yeah, yeah, I just wanted to speak to you. What about him? Yeah. Yeah, what about him? Yeah, well, that letter that you sent to the police has ended up with me. No, no, no. this case has been closed because there was no letter. I don't I don't know like, or anything. Yeah. And uh, that letter, because I went to the Bamley Police Station about that. I was totally yeah. confused because I didn't write that letter. Someone wrote yeah. it on my behalf to Warwickshire Police, I remember. All right. Yeah, so the case should be closed. There's nothing. Did you, did you make a report to no. Warwickshire Police about... No, 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 no. I haven't made no report. Someone's done fraudulent something. I don't know. But oh, I went to so the Bamboo strange. Police Station and I told them the situation that, you know, I used to play last month, last year when we were playing football. And since yeah. COVID, I haven't seen him or anything. But he was a... I'm an associate of mine years and years ago yeah, and he's a good guy used to play football with him. yeah 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 so yeah you know oh, i mean right. I, I would never do do that to a friend well he's yeah, a yeah. acquaintance not a friend yeah mm. yeah do you, I, I mean do, do you know what he's doing and things like that uh last time i see uh he was uh... yeah yeah but i don't know i haven't no. seen him uh so far this year yeah, mm. yeah, oh, okay. Yeah, because of COVID uh, and stuff, so I don't know where he is. Yeah, now. yeah. But it's, it's, do you know what that letter's all yeah. about? And, and his internet activity and things. Sorry? Do you know about all his internet activity and things like that? No, 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 nothing, nothing. Uh, I mean, uh, right. where are you calling from? Uh, Banbury. Banbury, so, all oh, right. So, Thames Valley Police? Yeah. Mm. Yeah. No, I don't know, mate. I don't know, mate. I mean, last time I spoke to him was probably. Christmas time, we had a random football game indoors, yeah. and that's it. And that's the last time I see him or, yeah. or spoke to him. What right. about his okay. internet activity? Right. Yeah. Very, uh, very I mean, I mean, is he in uh, any sort of trouble or anything? Or, no, uh, no, he's, he's, not, he's not in any sort of trouble. Because I know but that knows him very well, so yeah. you know, I could pass the message on and stuff. I mean, is he all right? Yeah. Is he in any trouble or something? No, no, he's, he's, he's not, he's not in any trouble. Um, yeah. I just wanted to speak to you. What's Actually, he done? I mean, What's he done? What kind of internet some, activity? Somebody's, somebody's written a letter on your behalf. Yeah. Saying that they pretended to be you, saying that there's a concern yeah. for his mental yeah, health. Yeah, 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 yeah. I mean, yeah, I mean, I mean, this happened last year as well because you guys came yeah. to my house, like, posted three, four cards. I ended up yeah. going, yeah, yeah, and I ended up going by the police station telling, I, I can't remember which policeman I spoke to, and I go yeah. to look, it's all bullshit basically, sorry, but you yeah. know, you know, I haven't written no letter, mate, I'm dyslexic, I can't write. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, so you know, so yeah. It must so. be, it, I mean, it, it must be somebody who knows you both. Um, I don't know, because um, what it was, but I went into yeah. a business with him. Yeah, and because it didn't work out, so we uh, yeah. dissolved the company. I mean, company within. Right. I mean, uh, I, I mean, I, I mean, see. what kind of internet? I mean, is he? What's he doing? I mean, why is someone doing this? What's? I'm confused. Well, it, it, I, I mean, it, I can't. I can't really disclose the nature of it. Because yeah. I wouldn't be. Uh, uh, I wouldn't be. Uh, you know, acting sort of right, but. Um, yeah. 
he's not actually doing anything illegal. Um, it, it, it's to do with things that he posts on YouTube and things like that. Oh, uh, so he's got what a YouTube channel or something? I bet. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Oh, I mean, right. I mean, it, it, you know, it, it, it's all it's all for the public to, to see. Do you know what I mean? So uh, it's not, what it's not, uh, YouTube channel? I mean, what kind of work does he do? If you don't mind me asking, if you can tell me that, I could, I yeah, could, I, I could mean, have a look I mean, myself. You, 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 I mean, I can't really disclose. Oh, okay, honest, no worries. Because I wouldn't really be doing my job. But, mm. I mean, you can, you can basically go online and have a look. But, oh, okay. Um, in, in it, I mean, in, in the you haven't written that letter. No, no, I haven't. Like, please, I'm please, because like. I'm a law-abiding yeah. citizen. I ain't got no criminal records or anything. So please, yeah, can no, you delete no, all my information no, and no, stuff, please? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because yeah. so, yeah. uh, yeah. I mean, because right, but... last time I spoke to the police officer, he said, "Oh, yeah. don't worry about it. Case is closed." Because I told him we ain't done. Yeah. I mean, I ain't done anything and this and that. Yeah. He goes, "All right, don't worry, and nothing's going to come back." And now you're yeah. phoning me about eight, nine months later <laughs> and yeah, stuff. Yeah, yeah, and, uh, yeah, yeah. 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 No. No problem. Okay, I'm mate. Leave it with us. Oh, to worry about. No problem. No worries, mate. Thank you, sir. Cheers, mate. See you, See you mate. Bye. Have a good night. Bye. Bye. So, as you all heard, uh, Mr. Paul, uh, he's so worried about my welfare and uh, my YouTube channel. Yeah. Uh, he, the sender, uh, I think a month later, they sent a couple of more officers. I'm not sure if it was him because I wasn't at home. Uh, knocked on my door again, claiming that they worried about my welfare, blah, blah, blah. Anyway, then this video, the one that I, the, the, the last video that I've done, the while I was reporting uh, the COVID-19 site, as uh, you all saw, you all witnessed that, uh, that day, all I was doing, I was reporting on the COVID-19 site, Trying to show that the COVID-19 sites are a waste of time, just my expressing my opinion. Uh, trying to show that the site was, they were completely empty, uh, just sucking up the public's money, just security walking around, doing nothing. Uh, then obviously I got assaulted. Uh, as I was assaulted, uh, I was backing off. You saw the whole footage, I don't need to tell you about it. Uh, I did call 999, I did give my information that day, obviously to, to report the assault, and guess what, by 4pm I received this letter from PC Paul. So yeah, the assault took place around 12.31 o'clock p.m. and uh, this letter arrived by 4pm, I wasn't at home again. So he delivered it to my son. Uh, funny enough, the letter starts as a, he says, uh, as a sworn constable. Uh, well, as a sworn constable, he should be, he's supposed to be protecting my rights, uh, which states it's in, in the oath anyway. But instead, no, he gives me this uh, community protection warning. I mean, uh, a warning, a warning, it's not even worth the, the paper it's written on, to be honest. It means nothing. But I'm assuming he's trying to <clears throat> to to give a, a notice eventually. Now, a notice is something different. Uh, that's, uh, if you get a notice, then obviously you have to follow what it says. Uh, the difference between a warning and a notice, a warning, you, you cannot do anything about it. It's, like I said, it's just a piece of paper. The notice, however, you can appeal it, so you can take it to court, kind of thing. Uh, the only uh, the only thing I wanted to say here is I'm not sure this PC Paul actually check the guidance on the use of a community protection notice. I mean, uh, obviously, the activity of filming, first of all, it's a legal activity. We're not talking like, uh, you know, we're not talking like creating disturbances or throwing rubbish in the street or anything like that you know, it's, it's just filming you know but again if he wants to look at it that way it's up to him uh, but he seems to forget that the action if he thinks it's antisocial the action needs to be repetitive and there needs to be victims yeah victims are willing to to to, to make statements now if you look at my videos 
You don't see like me recording the same people over and over and over. You don't see me, me recording, I don't know, police stations at COVID-19 sites over and over and over. I just, there, I just go there once. Yeah, so it's not repetitive. So you may want to get your facts straight, uh, mister. And it's an innocent activity. Yeah, so the Israeli police are well known for harassing people. I mean, just like uh, this lady that uh, was harassed uh, years ago, uh, she was uh, she was dating one of them, uh, and uh, I think she dumped him. I mean, don't blame her really. Uh, she dumped him, and then uh, uh, he started harassing her. Uh, and eventually, she got him done, I think. Uh, but yeah, that's the story. If you wanna, if you wanna read about it. Uh, Clearly, uh, they are harassing me for for filming them, you know, putting them on the spotlight. I mean, uh, uh, I mean, I get it. I get it. Some they might not like this. I get it. Some members of the public might not like this, but that, that, it, it's it's a legal activity. It's a free country. We can we, we we can do this. I mean, we live in a democratic country, and don't forget, this is the mother country of the common law so this is where it all began so us filming the government filming our police stations filming the council filming uh, uh, the, the fire brigade whatever we can do this and then we can project our opinion if if people don't like freedom if they don't like democracy simple just go and live somewhere else go and live in china yeah just like me like uh, president trump say go go to china what else can I say? They're, me, I love freedom. You know, I will always continue doing this. And uh, that's it. As far as I'm concerned, uh, PC Paul, I think he is the one that's uh, being antisocial here. He's clearly harassing me to make me stop videoing. I think he's trying to to cause harm to my community, you know, community of almost 60,000 people. So I think he's the one that's anti-social and I've already complained about him and I will encourage all of you to complain about him. And if there's any PCSOs or PCs watching this video, I think you should, you should serve him with a, a community protection notice for his anti-social behavior. Back off our community, PC7550.